somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we're jumping back into Fallout. This is season one, episode two. I'm so, so impressed with this series just from the first episode. I can't wait to dive into it. There are so many excellent shows out there, and this is just one of them. Let's check it out. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see how these adventures intertwine between the ghoul and Lucy and the whole brotherhood and Maximus. So this will be a lot of fun. I am completely enamored <laughs> after one episode. <laughs> can't wait for this one. I need more. Yep, very excited. Love the first episode. Really intrigued to see how the story is going to turn out. Again, I know nothing about the games, never played them, so can't wait. Let's go! Oh, oh no. To each line. Oh, oh no. In my oh, weighing less than a certain sign? weight. Yeah, yeah, they're weighing them. But someday the sun will shine. Oh, that's the guy from uh, Saw. Saw, he's an lot yeah. stuff. But when I think of you, well, these are their little buddies. Into each heart, some, but someday the sun will shine. Oh, he fudged the scale with that one, didn't he? Yeah. Sure did. Okay, I'd, sorry, I missed that off the rip. <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed because he was under 10 ounces. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or 10 pounds or whatever, yeah, 10 ounces. 10 ounces, 10 ounces yeah. Into each Look at the puppy grow. Well, I know in the game you have companion dogs. Must <laughs> Um, is he, is he doing himself? Oh, I thought he was putting it in his ear. I was gonna be like, oh. Oh, whoa, did that go deep? Oh, yeah, that's probably too deep. Oh, oh, so it's that's got an injection and a cauterizer. Yeah. Wow. Oh, what? Okay, I hope, can't wait to find out what that's all about. It's like a KX405. Oh, oh no. is he going to take this guy out? Oh, he's not going to like that. Oh. Whoa, CX-404 doing some work. Oh, he knows. Oh, whoa, please, please remain, remain calm. calm. Was that Ed 209 there? That thing's a terrible shot. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of rounds to miss with. A lot of rounds to miss with. It, it, Here you heard a terrible <laughs> shot. It, Photo got uh, you in the face. Oh, what's that? What? Voltec plan econo savings. It looked like it said plan B. That's like how you opt out. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It looks like they all have teacups yeah. by them. Voltec econo econo savings plan B. Mm. How you opt out? Yeah. yeah. And gaze at the moon till I lose my senses and I can't. Could we attract attention to yeah. yourself? Oh. Oh, it's the dog. Is it gone feral? <laughs> oh, it's still got a collar. Oh, then we see this in the trailer with the cockroaches. These things are huge. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh hey. look who it is. They made it. Vault dwellers are an endangered species here. You come from a world of rules, of laws. This place is indifferent to all of that. I do not think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. I'm not going back without my dad. The question yeah. is, will you still want the same things? Yeah, she just wants her dad. Four. Four. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Oh, I like how you could see that thing that he input. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty it's cool. Still glowing. It would, on the previous shot, you just saw like a dot. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Creature growling in the diff in the distance. <laughs> Might we put out that fire. <laughs> I see you went with the tempered lining on the T sixteen. Does that that help with mobility? <laughs> that is Jack. Yeah, basically. A board my lord we were assigned to search a town called philly we're still miles from i don't think you're gonna win that one yeah i don't think he gives a cap oh you old bell ringer so wait are they just Set here now? I think so. Right? That yeah, seems like back. it, yeah. The mission starts here, I guess. Well, it's a little easier to walk a few miles and you don't have to carry that. Kind of makes himself look obvious with that jacket, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right? Are you a doctor? <laughs> no, no, no. Still has his tie on yeah. and everything. So this must have been recent he escaped. It's like right after. It's still, yeah, you know, it's still clean. He hasn't been, you know, rolling around in it or anything. Cram. <laughs> In a dark cave. What could go wrong? Okay, so there's the jacket. So you're right. It's a little catch up. Oh. Oh. Lend well. you a hand? It's all radiated. Would you too. like a hand? <laughs> this world we're Not in. Good. Not good. Ah. That's the little one. Hmm. Is this thing gonna have to take on whatever's growing? They were here, a man and a dog. The target. Yes, they were. Oh, if he's saying it, you know it's got to be bad. <laughs> he's got his little piece too. Shouldn't they? Shouldn't he stay behind in this case? <sighs> I would. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. Nah, be, uh, where's the fun in that? Look, my, my lord, I, I don't have armor. You are in a suit. You act of bravery. This is an act of bravery. Jesus. Jesus. My lord, my squire. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that sucks. Nice equipment they give us. Yeah. Top of the line. Military grade. <laughs> See anything? What's the problem, dipshit? <laughs> oh, oh, what is that? Oh. 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 It's going toe to toe with that thing. It's a jacked up bear. <laughs> oh. oh, and he's out. Oh, Play dead. Bear. Or not. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Uh, tossed it like nothing. Oh yeah, it's not going. Oh, oh I thought it wasn't going to wow. do anything. <laughs> Headshot. Oh. Huh. <laughs> oh, is he? He's messed up under there, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck this shit. Oh my god! Right before, right before. This wasteland sucks. <laughs> I got a two-ton. A radiated bear on my back, and you're standing there, mm. you stupid Ooh. motherfucker. You know this is all your fault. <laughs> oh, oh, he's, he's gonna let him pass on. Yep. I have that suit. point. 
and bullying just like before. It is a knight's duty to better this fallen world. You don't deserve that armor. Uh, you think you do? <laughs> He's just going to stand. Take a stand. Yep. Oh. Well, you shouldn't talk crap to the person that could save you. Yeah, when you're in that sort of situation. Be honest about bringing back the target. Oh. Oh God! So Max is a complicated character. Yeah, he is. He doesn't like being effed with. That's for sure. Well, look at the shit he went through. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And just that one episode that we saw. Yep. What? Damn you! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I just want to ask you for directions. Okay. <laughs> oh, lovely! Uh, the outfit he got there. Oh, what's the? It's quite a diaper he's got. That, on. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that a? Oh, he's got a weird posture and everything. Oh man. Have you tried water? For the water filter. <laughs> yeah. You got water? Oh, uh, would you like a sip? Oh no. Uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, sir. I actually, I might. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Somebody hands you a bottle of clean water and you drink it. Even if you're not thirsty, you drink it. Much you can anyway. Is there a reason why they make his arms like really long? Mm. Like well, because look at his, over. did you see his posture? Right, like it's, it's all over. hunched like, over. People get killed in Philly all the time. That's where my daddy got killed anyway. A couple of brothers too. Had a hand as well. She got killed there once. <laughs> once? once? <laughs> Sounds dangerous. Or you just stay here, live with me, use nope. the family to help with all the work. I, nope. <laughs> nope. I'd I'd be a nuisance. <laughs> I'd get in the way. You wouldn't have to put up with me for too long. <laughs> <laughs> this could all be yours. <laughs> <laughs> this could all be yours. You're a good person for not shooting me with that gun. Oh, it was really no problem. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to come into play later. Uh, he looks too. Yeah. You always wonder about everybody you see on the outside. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, here we is go. This, is this your moment, Maximus? His uh, his main rifle was taken out by the bear, though. That might have just hey, been might... knocked out of his hand. It looked like it bit it, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah, at the same time, though, he's the mechanic or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe he could fix it. Oh, look at that setup. Watch out. There's a two legged animal. Okay, but how long does the power source last? That's a great question. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I thought oh. it landed. I yeah, like bricks I, I, landed on somebody. I, I, I bet you ninety-nine percent of people thought the same yeah. thing. I said I'd hand him. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Have a really bad day, sir. Toodles. <laughs> what if he was the bad guy? That's what uh, I'm yeah. wondering. A scientific. I was f***ing my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Those do what I think they do. I was say, can he fly, or is he just going to torch stuff? Yeah. Or at least torch. torch. I thought it's maybe got... he was going to fly towards the guy that was That's... running away after yeah. having fun with the chicken. God, you, for a suit that heavy, you think oh, how much thrust that would be enough yeah. to get you off the ground? And I don't feel like that's enough. All the people who played the game are laughing at us. Yeah, like, probably. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys knew. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, graveyard for cars. Hello there. Is my name. Nothing to see here. Yeah, they don't even care. No. I wonder if people think it's even a vault dweller or somebody just found a uniform. Undiluted <laughs> antifreeze? Have you seen this man? 
Dog meat. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Just think about all the Easter eggs we're missing right now. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Tons. <laughs> How soon until this goes very, very wrong? Oh, look at that. Wow. I don't know if I'd be just cruising through these things without yeah. a little bit of knowledge. Yeah, Lucy's very inquisitive yeah. and friendly. Supply. Supply? Mm. Yeah. I mean, so far, everybody's ignoring her. Like, a vault dweller's not a big deal. Yeah, I am kind of surprised by that. Or maybe there's only a select few that know. Mm. Is that uh, uh, the ghoul? Is that yep. a ghoul? Gotta be. Yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thor's hammer? Thor's hammer. Uh oh I thought he was, we were going to see him use it. Yeah. Wait. Two-headed yeah. cow. Two-headed cow. That'll happen with that level of radiation. Oh, uh, that looks... It's one of their wrist things that yeah. they had down in, in the vault. She's probably curious as to where they got it. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Walton, Quinn. Walton. 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 Watched the guy through a whole series, and I thought his name was Walter. <laughs> Hi there. Ah. <laughs> because... These items typically belong to Vulcan. <laughs> it would be safe to assume that you do business with criminals. <laughs> Not judging you. Don't imagine there's that many other options up here. And sons. Yeah. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I thought all you starting dipshits. <laughs> barf? barf or barf? V with a V. Goes by the name of Moldaver. Oh. oh, there's the name. You're gonna go through a whole lot worse if you stay around here. I can tell by looking at you. Clean hair, nice teeth. Mmm, all ten fingers. <laughs> the idea is um, that we're going to save America. <laughs> You know what folks up here say about the vaults? What? The vaults. <laughs> Have a nice oh, day. Yeah, talk about uh, getting a dose of reality here that I don't think she was ready for. She always... Thank you for your help, ma'am. She crushes all these small roles there so well. I was going to... Oh, looky here. Who are you? And how do you know so much? Hey. You, Wilson. Let's get you inside. I told you to get off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, a dentist and the barber in the same place. That's how it was in uh, back then. Yeah, yeah, you'd have dentists and barbers in the same spot. We're going to get a backstory. You wouldn't have and... to be a doctor, would you? How he survived. But I do know a bidding war when I see one. Maybe. <laughs> but I've been paid a whole lot of cap to provide this man safe transport out of Philly. Oh! 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 Jesus Christ! Gone! Plans, I guess. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. Like, what happened to- You don't get shit if I kill him first! Thousand no, bottle caps? No takers. That must be the, uh, the currency. currency. Well, Nuka Cola, that's probably the currency, is all those caps. Look at these badass shots. Oh. Yeah, the uh, the light filters they dropped in that pretty dramatic. Mm. Some tells me, I don't know nothing, folks, so I'm assuming he could take a few and still be all right. Oh! oh. Oh! Oh, it's just punching holes in people. Oh, they oh tomatoes. Can we add I I think this man needs to be alive? Oh, we can take some hits. See, that's what I was wondering. He could right off you one of these cherry tomatoes, but you got a hole in your neck. <laughs> 
That boom, uh, boom. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> no, 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 not the dog, not the dog. Oh, oh, I did not see that coming. I believe that's a Okay, well, there's the winner. Yeah, go for the big dog if you're going to do it. You don't want that hacksaw in the background. Oh, is this going to be the one thing? That is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> that was from the trailer. <laughs> oh, we're all oh, getting them. I oh, didn't think we were so all going to meet. He could fly. I didn't think we were going to get there right away. Yeah. In the second episode, I thought it was going to be like, you know. A journey to each other. Yeah. yeah. Five, yeah. six Glad. in. I'm that actually is. happy that we're getting them all three together. Mm -hmm. By Titus of the Brotherhood of Steel, stand down or be cut down. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, jeez. Four barrel mm -hmm. rotator or the old revolver shotgun. I've been sent here to find him. Get him inside and keep him there until I've dealt with a ghoul. Okay. Thank you. So again, folks, I have no knowledge. I got to assume the ghoul's a tweener for the early start until he turns full baby. Oh, yeah, he oh, dropped his gun. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Right on the steps. Well, now that he like totally, almost bled out. <laughs> that yeah, didn't, uh, the, the that didn't ruin him. Oh no, I don't think he was getting hit by my. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to walk up those stairs. Trying to eat my beans. Oh, 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 oh wow! Moving things around without telling me. I don't mean to interrupt, but was that a night? <laughs> she don't give Whoa. Oh god, it's gotta clean off the end of the leg. Oh, it's like a pencil sharpener. Oh I need you to take this man here to my client. Just like that, new leg. You ain't getting near Moldaver without something to bargain with, and delivering this guy right here is your best option. Well, what does Moldaver want with you? I mean, she steals dads. <laughs> Dad, back or not, kid? Gosh, damn it, okay. <laughs> Gosh. Just, just get to the coordinates. Your rides move pretty quick. In and out through the house. You're going to need to move fast if you want to. Oh, fast. Yeah, that's the luxury we have. Traps only. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cries out. Well, I guess basic training ain't what it used to be. You drive that thing like a. Shopping cart. <laughs> <laughs> Read the manual. Suit's gonna be done. Yep. Oh, it's gonna lasso him. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> 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 Serums to energize. Serums to invigorate. Ah, whoa. And look who it is. Mr. Chicken. Foot healing serum. <laughs> Serums that will make you grow an entire new foot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so not totally damaged. <laughs> <laughs> Jim's the veteran's Jim's choice. Jim's limbs. Yeah. The veteran's choice. Wow. Okay. Well, that makes a little bit more sense Gosh. now. The amount of work they had to put into on set design on this is it's unbelievable. Crazy. Oh no. What is the he dog doing? lives? He's gonna bring back the dog. Yeah, he's gonna help it. Is that gonna be his dog now? From now on. 
Hey. Just like that. Good as new. Now he's going to follow that to yep. the dog's master, mm-hmm. Mortal Four's master. Or, yeah. or became loyal to the ghoul. Yeah. One of the two. Either way, pretty the cool. Dog man. Oh, you got to be good. Got yeah, solved. You, you got to be real good. The dog made it. Well, for now, but. Well, they did what you needed to do. They made us care for the puppy right yep. away, like how it survived and everything. Oh. Smart. Make everyone be in the wide open so you can at least see them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at the tracks. <laughs> A Russian satellite that came down. Yeah. yeah. Old uh, military plane. Says here we have about 20 miles left to go. How's your new hole? Oh. oh, golly. <laughs> Holy moly. 20 miles. This guy needs How a stem pack. Yeah. Yeah. No, you see, I've just taken a cyanide. Pack. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Tasted like banana. I, I was surprised it wasn't more popular. It's like the Walking Dead. We lose our doctors. Mm-hmm. And how am I gonna bring you if you're, you know, not not my whole body? Oh, is he gonna refer to this now? Just my head. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, oh! Who needs a grappling hook when you need that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, yes, McShane. How do you know my name? Oh, that's it. Of course. They know everyone in the vault's name, I'm assuming, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> ah, a big <laughs> raised, is it Razor Randy's Donuts? Ah, uh, Randy? Randy's I think donuts. it's Randy's. Randy's, yeah. Oh, oh that, the music with the... Oh my god. <laughs> ah, the music god. The happy trails. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, you, want, you wanted to see that? Well, just though, because the episode ended, that's all. Oh. So short. So short. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see the head get cut off. <laughs> nope, that's it. That was a full. Yeah, it was a full oh. hour though, Quinn. So I, I, but no, I get it. It did not it seem like it was an hour. So it, fast. I love it when we watch good shows that don't seem like yeah, an hour. Thing. I know the. You know the first thing that I wanted to comment on because it was one of the first things we saw in the episode, and I just it always blows my mind when I see it. But when they have like super well trained dogs in movies that. It's almost like they're just human actors in a dog body because they're so good at what they do. Now, CGI has gotten so good to the point where sometimes I question what's an actual animal and what's CGI. But I think on here, it seemed like it was a real dog the whole time. So, you know, going back to the John Wick, even with Halle Berry, where she had her dogs that were super well trained. I, I just personally find that fascinating. I love seeing it on screen. So selfishly, that really stood out to me in this episode. But the set design, the supporting char- uh, characters that they have in this show are just phenomenal. Of course, we had Ma June, who uh, most of us know from Breaking Bad. Uh, that was one of the big roles I recommend, recognized her from, of course, uh, and made the cut. And oh, I'm just, sure, just I'm yeah. sure it's going to be in the cut. Just a phenomenal <laughs> actress who just you give her, you give just give her this much screen time, and she completely nails it. Just phenomenal. So glad that she's in this. Hopefully, we see more of her. I can't believe that that was a one-off. Uh, we had our chicken guy in here. I got a feeling we're going to see him again uh dropping in michael rapaport yeah, that was there, awesome <laughs> to be there for a cup of coffee on set and be in the suit that was really good to see so man i am just i am so excited for this series and again this is from somebody who knows very very little if nothing about the video games and uh as diamond dave said in in, in there there's probably a ton of easter eggs in here that we're missing but uh, Everyone involved in this show, you're just doing a phenomenal job. And I'm sure if season two isn't isn't in the works already or renewed, it has to be. Because I can't imagine uh, anyone would watch this show and not enjoy it unless you were somebody who like was turned off Pierced. by all the gore and, and whatever else. But I would like to hear in the comments, 
again, without spoilers, how closely did this episode mirror maybe some things that happened in the game? And if there are uh, maybe some Easter eggs we should keep an eye out for. But either way, uh, man, everybody's just crushing it. And especially Walton Goggins. So happily Walton. after after watching you all those years on Justified calling you by the wrong name that uh, finally get a little clarity here because you're basically the same character. So good to see Boy Crowder <laughs> back. But again, everybody in here is just doing a phenomenal job. I thought there was maybe some some saw easter eggs in there because we had michael emerson who was of course in saw lose his leg there was a hacksaw in the background <laughs> maybe that's me projecting but uh, i did see the first saw so i wonder if there was maybe a little bit of a uh, little bit of fun with that they maybe took but yeah either way this series is a blast yeah this has been a lot of fun i like how they're having lucy just be so like trustworthy and naive and like oh you need some water here and take the whole thing and he's just keeps drinking oh well gosh um golly uh well then he's like you just drink the and then i liked how they had the farm go hey you drink the whole thing someone gives you clean water you drink the whole thing whether you're thirsty or not yep. and then, and then <laughs> thank you for not taking me out which is great too and then even i had an inkling with the with the farmer and the the salesman let's call them that with the that uh, Titus should have done something with that, with uh, the guy running, especially when you see him like scurrying away running. Yeah. Then you know he had, he did something up sad. And uh, but it was cool seeing her going through that crowded area where it was like an old market, like old times were like, ah, oh, get your iguana here, iguana <laughs> dog meat, and then he's like, ah, oh, serum. They'll let your foot grow back, maybe yep. like like, and they're all bartering for the caps, so. Nuka Cola is the only really thing that I really remember from the game because that was the quote unquote soda that they all drank. It was Nuka Cola, so I guess the caps are the currency. So it was fun seeing that and then having a nice shootout at like the OK Corral in the middle of the marketplace. Having uh, the ghoul just, yeah, like it's neat seeing that each one of those provide something different you know in any way shape and form and then even after he was at least nice enough after he ate the cherry tomatoes he he paid, paid. for them if not more than he needed yeah. to but and then the mr limbs which was which got us all a good chuckle like how that didn't put the leg on Ooh, i couldn't imagine but then we've also seen now too that like he did the plan D, the family had plan B, so it's like they all. I thought they, it said D for the I think family. It's oh, did it say yeah, D? No. Okay, I oh, thought it said. I I must have saw it too quick and thought it said B then. But other than that, this I mean, it's awesome seeing the. It was awesome seeing uh, Michael Rappaport, because like you hear this guy going. Oh, F, 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 all that stuff, yeah. stuff, and then all of a sudden when it opens up, it's Rob Port, you're like, okay, I can totally of tell. It is. Of course, now you go back and replay that scene, I'm like, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely him. So this, the show has been so great. Like, obviously, it says Plan D, uh, Diamond Dave just brought it up. So I was mistaken. I thought it was B, but it, it was D. So, yeah, we see that there is a way for everyone to get out, taste like bananas. And uh, so she then had the courage to, from saying gosh darn it to taking off the head to take it to Moldover because she wants her dad back. So this has been a really fun show so far and I can't wait to continue it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is crazy. This um, this thing with the um, the Plan D, it looked like our guy had a smaller bottle, which must have been the individual version, and then this, of course, larger bottle, um, I'm guessing for the families, which sadly enough in a situation like that, um, the, uh, the ability to to painlessly opt out, I guess, is one thing. The fact that they were, uh, I think it speaks volumes to, uh, you know, the, the, the type of world that they were in where, oh, the ultra wealthy got to go in these fancy underground vaults and everybody else. It's like, here's, here's the economy solution. So uh, another kind of poke at uh, the, the, the state that their society was in before the war, not a great one. Um, it's it's crazy because I remember the, in the first episode when the dad was talking like their kids are going to be the first ones to be able to go out on land and above the vault. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> looking yeah. around, I'm not so sure. Let's say they had kids in a year. And does that does that look like uh, the type of landscape that even 50 years from now is, yeah, is going to be better? Be, <laughs> is going to be any better for humans? So I think they're just really trying to emphasize just how in the dark the vault dwellers were to everything mm -hmm. 
that was happening above ground. Oh, we're we're measuring radiation and and our tools tell us our tools tell us it's going to be okay in a hundred years. Like, yeah, your eyes are going to tell you something completely and utterly different, unless all that sand decides to turn into soil in a in a big hurry. But what a you know just. I can't, and it's 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 cliche. We we don't say it that often, but we say it sometimes. This hour plus episode felt like five minutes. Mm -hmm. It felt like five minutes. I mean, it was it was cool seeing her <laughs> come out of the vault. Of course, anybody who's watched, I don't know, any survival show knows that fires at night for whatever reason or whatever reason they're never good. They're just going to give away your your position. Um, but so that was interesting. I like the bit about cockroaches because it's, it's funny. We say, oh, it'll survive nuclear war, you know, cockroaches and, uh, you know, whatever. Twinkies. You know, whoever you're going to oh, yeah, whoever you're gonna throw under the bus. But so that was pretty cool. Um, Mason Quinn had brought up set design, you know, and, uh, you know, during, during the episode. And it's absolutely incredible. I mean, these are worlds that you essentially have to create, you know, like from your imagination. They, they don't exist. They've never existed, and, and not only, uh, of course, are you you creating something that hasn't existed before. You're also creating it um, with technology and things that also never existed. You know, it would be one thing to, um, you know, almost have like a Mad Max, like it's in the future, and you see parts of engines and axles and all these different things that kind of existed in the world that we're familiar with now. Whereas in this show, it's created a whole different world, a futuristic past type world and now they're creating what the slums would look like a few hundred years in the future from that world so so much goes into creating this um i'm just i'm just blown away with this show it's uh it's it's amazing when you see other shows that have massive budgets and just <laughs> flop right massive budgets and sometimes talented people and it just flops and then you see shows like this where they're just home runs and it's like yep. oh wait you, you gotta imagine like the writers think they're right they gotta think they're writing something good as they're writing it and some can just go to the moon like this show and some can just fall flat the on studios their get involved and they can yeah. run things maybe. we we just get the studios out i'm look in the studio's defense i'm sure there was plenty of examples mm -hmm. where the studio stepped in and it worked right. It's the whole, if you have good service, you tell one person. If you have bad service, you tell ten. I digress. This episode, phenomenal. Uh, two episodes in, an absolutely incredible show. Yeah, I'm super pleasantly surprised at how uh, intrigued I am by this whole world. Again, I know nothing about the games. know nothing about the story at all. And two episodes in, and I'm like, I'm officially like really hooked. Seeing the main cast of characters come together in some way shape or form in episode two here was great yeah. i'm glad we didn't yeah. get that dragged out because i was kind of curious i'm like well we're probably gonna get this like wide scale mm -hmm. journey and just funnel in to the last couple so i'm glad that we got this interaction here i assume they're all uh protagonists so that's why i'm assuming at some point they're all going to be working together somehow some way but of course they all have oh. a different purpose to get the doctor but now it's just going to be ahead and so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out uh this whole <laughs> walton he has been crushing oh. it in the ghoul character and this ghoul character i want to learn more about but i'm not touching anything until i see all these episodes yep. in its glory so then i can go back and i know we said we're going to eventually play the game so now i'm even more excited to come back and play the game which i'm sure this series did its job for all those like us that oh, can't wait to see the game. Now you're going to go and play it and vice versa. So kudos again to everyone involved because these first two have been great. Uh, Dale Dickey, who is Ma June, <laughs> can't say enough about her. Her, just like you were saying, Quinn, you give her just a little bit in one episode <laughs> and she just nails it every time. So I'm glad uh, she's in here and she didn't die so i'm hoping like you said i'm hoping we get more yeah somehow some way work her back in i gotta imagine there might be a chance but she served a huge purpose in this one and it kind of made it look like that was her the end of her for now for like a storytelling purpose anyway so it'll be interesting to see if she comes back in here uh the dog bringing back the dog oh, i was kind of surprised by that thanks you know when the when he when the ghoul did shoot off uh, the doctor 
uh, Will Ziggs. For, <laughs> I was thinking, oh, okay, what a nightmare it is going to be for the crew trying to CGI something. But didn't matter because he was only one show anyway. <laughs> and they gave him a boot. So yeah. I'm sure the boot was okay. But the rest of it was probably just like crazy for sound design. And definitely they didn't want to spend too much on the CGI because I'm sure uh, Ghoul's uh, look prosthetics and everything was like all right that's where the main budget's going for the show because we got to have him looking good uh and again i'm intrigued love how the they started the story love the dystopian apocalyptic world that we're in so far and they're not holding anything back we're seeing drugs we're seeing <laughs> gore we're seeing you know all the above so i'm kind of happy that and, and let me know in, in the game too if it's like this or if they dialed it up a notch i assume it's probably even but again it's i'm glad they're not holding back because sometimes we've all seen as you probably have that all right well, we were really graphic in the game but we got to kind of scale it back for tv purposes so we can sell our ads and whatnot too so happy can't wait for episode three this has been exciting love the story they're telling can't wait yeah i mean you you've got this picture up right now Dave, and it's like just look at the set design look at yeah, all the, the shit in the background that they have to do like the pencils in the jar and all just the, all the notepads and the mm -hmm. paper in the background like all the little things that they did to take the time to make it look genuine this does not feel fake it doesn't feel like a tv show this all feels real because what i think is that they got a bunch of people that love the game and want to do the game justice so they're like we're going to make this they're going to have fun with it and they're fans themselves so they're going to make it look like how they would feel if they were in fallout themselves and how it would look all around there so i think yeah. that's another thing to consider yeah, so it, they did a great job yeah and especially that scene where they were having the fight i mean all the little stuff they had to take in it must have took them a month two three months to build that set it just blows my mind now i don't know again if cgi can play some tricks there and where that can like fill in behind like an actual practical piece and they can fill in behind that but either way it's uh it's awesome and this story is really you could good. i mean sometimes you, we've seen where they get some of the sets just built right and then they either blue screen it or green screen it for certain right. pieces yeah. and then throw in whatever they need to do so that yeah, was still they're, they're doing great service <laughs> to the fans so to win oh i can't wait to watch some more so for diamond dave Evelyn Oak, that's mason quinn i'm of course answer we'll catch you on the next one pals get yourself a nuka cola